everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science. It's Saren. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment below if you want to see more. Thanks! Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about thermo thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is what we're talking about primarily in Gen Chem 2, which is what my students are studying right now. And so I just want to make some connections for them for this whole unit. So thermodynamics has a couple different areas. So the first area that you guys talked about was enthalpy. In enthalpy, we talked about that's described as delta H. Enthalpy is an exchange of energy from system to surroundings. All right, so that's the big thing about enthalpy. Enthalpy is represented by delta H and it represents an exchange of energy from system to surrounding. Often that energy is represented as heat, but not always. And the next thing that you guys talked about was entropy. So entropy is what we call randomness. and it is represented by delta S. And then we talked about Gibbs free energy. We represent Gibbs free energy as delta G and Gibbs free energy is a way for us to represent spontaneity. spontaneity. And Gibbs free energy connects enthalpy and entropy. So Gibbs connects delta S and delta H and spontaneity of a reaction can't be can't be determined without both delta S and delta H. All right guys, so those are just some general ideas about thermodynamics that are really good. They're the key concepts. Um, the overall goal for thermodynamics is to, here I'll write that up here, overall goal So the overall goal for thermo thermodynamics is um, to determine energy transfer and spontaneity. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. Key things, entropy, enthalpy, Gibbs free energy connects them. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys later.